Joining us now is NBC's newest legal analyst, Tali Farhadi and Weinstein, a former federal and state prosecutor here in New York. Tali, good morning. Welcome. It's good to see you. Thank you. Good morning, Savannah. So this is an ultimate lawyer's argument about whether process was served, whether the legal papers were properly served on the prince, but it really comes down to, it, beyond the technical argument, are they going to be able to make Prince Andrew answer in a New York courtroom? Well, you know, that remains to be seen, Savannah, but I think you're right that today is about technicalities, and I don't think that it's going to be an effective legal strategy for him to hide at his mother's castle for too much longer and say, you can't catch me. Well, is this so we're going to get past this. Yeah, stalling tactic. Because the whole idea of was I properly served with processes, did I get notice? Is it fair or is it not fair? He certainly exactly. is aware. They have to meet the technical requirements, but... Is stalling a decent legal strategy? I think it is not, because even if they have not met the legal requirements, and I believe that they have, then I expect the judge to instruct her lawyers on how to go ahead and do that. So I think he is going to be served, and the case is going to start. He can then, of course, continue to stonewall, in which case a default judgment will be entered against him. Well, before we get to that, if he gets mm -hmm. in the case, let's say this morning it goes forward, he was properly served, this, the case can start. As a mm -hmm. practical matter, what does that mean? Can he be forced to answer questions under oath in a deposition? Well, so there's a court order now that says that after he is served, he will have three weeks to answer her allegations, right? Uh, and if he does not do that, then it's really up to the court to say, I can make a judgment now uh, and maybe to ask her or him, and again, he might continue not to answer, for more information, particularly so the court can make a decision about damages, right? She's asked for money damages, but she hasn't specified the amount. And then finally, I mean, I know these are complex issues, but does he have an argument that he's immune because he is a, the, the son of the queen? Is there a sovereign immunity issue here? Yeah. Well, those are arguments that he has to come to court to make. Uh, and as you know, he, he hasn't even entered an appearance. He doesn't have any lawyers representing him. This is going to be a one way argument today. Uh, so all of that is something that he would have to actually recognize the court you know, first in order to be able to talk about and that would be part of the litigation. All right. Well, this is a very first step, Tali. Thank you so much. Nice Thank to have you. you with us. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.